Good morning, Emmanuel. Uh, for those who I've not met before, my name is Tim, and I'm going to be taking us through the next part uh, of Ephesians 6 as we look at the armour of God. Uh, so I'm going to be reading uh, verse 15, um, but it follows on from uh, Dot's verse yesterday. So I'm going to read verse 14 and then 15, uh, and then we'll start to unpack it a little bit and see where we go. So, stand therefore having fastened on the belt of truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Verse 15. And as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. I have to admit, when I first uh, looked at this verse, I thought, shoes? Uh, that's not really the most important thing when the armour of God comes to mind. Uh, but as I thought about it more, I thought, actually, you know, the shoes are pretty important. Um, I don't know if you've ever tried to climb up a mountain or go on a long hike. Uh, if you've got the wrong footwear, you're going to come. You're going to come unstuck pretty quickly. Um, if you've got flip flops or an old pair of trainers, uh, your feet aren't going to be comfortable. You may end up with blisters, and that's your that's your walk over before before too long. So, actually, the shoes are pretty key here. Um, and for a Roman soldier. Um, they would often be going to battle and trying to defend and actually Roman soldiers had a little trick up their sleeve they'd have kind of small nails on the bottom of their soles of their shoes uh, which enabled them when they were uh, fighting an enemy to kind of dig their feet in uh, and to be able to defend and to kind of get some extra traction uh, to be able to fight back which is actually a really um, good encouragement really as we're fighting against the attacks of uh, the devil as his schemes and he, as he tries to um, put us off our game uh, we remember that the gospel of peace is there to help us defend against that uh, there's also the offensive side as the Roman soldiers would go into battle um, they would kind of take the take the battle to the enemy uh, and in this case uh, the readiness given by the gospel of peace uh, this passage just kind of reminds us that the gospel of peace can be used as an offensive tool. We can go out there uh, and we can take ground from our enemy. Um, so I know at the moment the good news and the gospel of peace are actually um, really quite key. I think just the events of the last few days, uh, how many times have we kind of been calling out to God for, for peace in our prayers? Um, and I think for this whole situation that we find ourselves in at the moment, I think so many people, so many of our friends and family are probably calling out for some sort of peace. And so the gospel that we have, the good news, um, is actually something that we can give, uh, give to those people who need it. So uh, I'm going to pray and um, yeah, let's, we'll take it from there. Father God, thank you that uh, you equip us uh, with your armour. Uh, thank you that um, you lived on this earth just as we we have and you, you faced the same battles and uh, the, fa the same struggles as we did, Father God. Um, and I just pray that uh, you would today give us a fresh, re fresh revelation of your gospel, your gospel of peace, Father God. Uh, and that you'd you'd be getting us ready, uh, giving us opportunities, even in lockdown, Lord, to uh, share that good news with our friends and our families, our colleagues, uh, those who really need to hear it now more than ever, Father God. Um, and yeah, Lord, we just pray for um, in situations around the world where uh, your peace is so needed, Father God. We pray for your kingdom to come, Father, for your will to be done, um, and. Yeah, Father God, we pray for uh, Christians in those situations, God, who can be salt and light uh, in their communities. Uh, I pray that some of that has helped you, and uh, I pray that today you have a, a fantastic day and uh, a great week, and hope to see people soon. Cheers.